In this Unreal Engine tutorial you will learn to communicate between two blueprints. So when our player steps on a platform, light goes on, and it comes off, light goes out. These are two different blueprints, and we'll create a blueprint interface to switch messages between both of these. So let's see how that works. First I will create a light blueprint. So in your content browser, right click, blueprint class, actor, let's name this bp underscore light. Let's open this one up. Then let's add a point light. Hit compile, select a point light, and let's change the color to something pretty so we really see it when we also increase the intensity. Hit compile, and let's drag this inside of our level. Because right now you can see the light is on. Okay, but we don't want the light on at first. So look for visible, tick visible off, compile. And right now, when you start the game, there is no more light. So we are going to create a light trigger to trigger this light back on. Right click, blueprint class, actor, bp underscore trigger. Okay, let's open this one up also. I like to keep this neatly next to each other. Let's add a box. Well, let's start with a cube first. If I can type, I forget how to type. Okay, here I have it. Click this one, let's scale this down a bit, compile, and let's drag this here in front. So when our player goes on top of this, I want to communicate with this blueprint that it needs to be switched on, and later on when I step out of it, that the light goes out again. So for that, I'm going to add a box collision, okay, and I'm going to scale this up a bit, okay, maybe drag it up a bit, hit compile. So. Now, when I hit play and I go on top of here, nothing happens. So we need to communicate. And how we do that is with right click, blueprints, but not this one, but this one blueprints. And then you go here to blueprint interface, because this interface will send a message to each other. So bi underscore, and let's call this switch. Let's open this one up. And here is a function name and let's name this bi underscore switch. This is read only, so you don't need to do anything else here except for compile. So now when I go to my trigger with my box selected, go to on component begin overlap, click this one, and then I will look for my switch. So whenever I overlap with my box and my trigger here, this needs to send a message that will also go to my light. So back here in the trigger in the event graph, when I now hit compile, you will see this error. We need a target. And for that target, I'm going to create a variable. Let's click here and let's name this point lights reference. Nice. Let's also look at the variable type and we need an actor for this. And not on the structure, but object types. Click actor and then object reference. This is the one we need. And let's drag this right here, get point light reference and drag this in the target. And we also need to click this eye icon, so this needs to be visible, so I can work with it in my viewport later on here. Very important, don't forget this. So now when I have this one selected, my BP trigger still selected, you can see my point light reference right here. And I can look it here, but I like to enable this pick actor from C, and then click here on the light that I earlier dragged in. And now this is selected. Okay, great. So now I go back to my light, and in the event graph, I want to trigger this message. But right now, when I look for event switch, because this is one we need, it's not there. So we need to do a little class settings first. Click class settings, not defaults, but settings. Then underneath interface, open this one up. Under implemented interfaces, click add. And then look for the switch, bi switch. Hit compile first. And now look for event bi switch okay now i can add the logic so let's get the reference from the point light and then set visibility let's connect this one up and click the box new visibility okay let's test this out for now so no light we have light gentlemen and ladies ladies and gentlemen but the light is still on for some this is fine and you already see how these two 
bluepins are communicating with each other through this interface, but you can also do more. So let's continue. For example, I can also increase my input here. So for example, is light switched on? Question mark. And this is a boolean. I can hit compile. And now when I go back to my trigger, I can see there is a variable right here. Is light switched on? So what I can do with my box here selected, my trigger box, right click add event on component and overlap. Let's control D to duplicate this one. Also connect the point light reference in this target and connect these pins. So when it overlaps, I want the light switch on. Yes, pick this boss and then end overlap. No, I don't want this box selected because then the light will go off and then go back in my light. You can see this value also here and it needs to be connected to the visibility because this will decide our visibility. And right now when I go, light switched on, off, on, off, on, off and so on. So you can really also improve your, your functions in the read-only menu by entering the inputs and even outputs if you like that. And this is how you can communicate between blueprints with blueprint interfaces. Hope you liked more videos on my channel. So subscribe if you like to see more videos and have a nice day. See you around. Bye.